Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial you will see how we can scrape data from booking.com. So basically I have this web page right here as you can see. So I entered my destination in this case Paris. I entered a check-in date, a checkout date and also these information. And when I hit search these are the hotels that are listed or at least on the first page. So I want to create a scraper that comes to this very page and for each hotel it will get the name, the price regarding the check-in and check-out, it will get the review, the score and how many people reviewed this hotel. So let me show you an example of how the scraper will work. Let me go to my command line or terminal in this case and run the scraper. So Python 3 and then the name of the scraper. If I hit enter, you will see that we have this window that pops up. It will go to the very page that we specified and it disappears. And as you can see right here, we have this message telling us that there are 35 hotels. So now if I open my finder, we can see that this is our Python script and that we have another Excel file. Let me open it. Let me make this a bit bigger. And as you can see, we have our hotels with the specified information. So this column is for the hotel name. This one is for the price, the score, the average review and the reviews count exactly as we want it. So this is a scraper that you will be creating. A side note here is that when you come to the price, you can see that we have US dollars and you can remove this later on in the process. But in this example, I will just leave it as is. So let me close this and let me go to my text editor of choice, which is VS Code. So as you can see, I've already created a file called bookingscraper.py and I added this template code. But before we go to the code, let me first install the required packages. So I will open the integrated terminal and in here I will type pip install playwright pandas and openpy excel. So basically playwright will automate our browser meaning it, we will use it to scrape our data. We will use pandas to save our data and you will use OpenPy Excel or should I say OpenPy Excel is required by pandas. So let me hit enter. As you can see, it's already downloaded. Let me clean this. And if this is your first time using Playwright, you need to run Playwright, Playwright install and then the name of your browser. In my case, it's Chrome. As you can see, now let me clean this and let me close my terminal. So I added the following code to not waste time. Let me just explain it real quick. So we imported the sync playwright from the playwright sync API, and we also imported pandas and we named it PD. After that, we defined a main function that you will run in here. And inside the main function, we first started by calling the context manager of Playwright, the sync Playwright context manager, as you can see right here. And this is a standard Playwright step if you are not familiar with Playwright. So after that, we have our page URL. And this URL is the same as this URL right here. The only difference is that I removed the check-in and check-out dates and I added them in these two variables. The reason I did that is because I want to change, to change them later. So basically, I don't want to come here and just change them in here. So I added an F string and I just inject them in here. And this, the format is very important. So if I go here, let me search for them. 
as you can see here they are the check-in and check-out and like you are seeing we first get the year then the month and then the day which is exactly what you have in here year month and then the day so after that we can continue our work so since we are using playwright we first need to instantiate a browser using the context manager so p.chromium.launch again chromium because because i'm using chrome in here you can use like webkit or firefox i set headless to false so you can see the browser popping up after that i will close our browser and this step is very important sometimes you forget about it and then we create our page and finally we tell our page to get to the to go to this url and as you can see i set this timeout to 60 seconds in case we have problem with internet or stuff like that so if you are not familiar with playwright this step right here and this step is a standard playwright steps so you can just memorize them understand them here and you will always use them basically now that our browser went to the given page we can use this page object to scrape our page because basically this page will contain all the html that of that url let's say so what you can do now is we can get the hotels and by the hotels i mean these hotels right here like this one is the first this one is the second this one is the third and so on so basically the page object have this method which is the locator method and this locator method takes in either an x path like we have in here or a css selector and the x path or css selector we, we usually give it is of the let's say tag or the element on the page that we want so i'm not going to explain xpath in this example because it will take a long time but basically if i copy this if i come here if i inspect the element i will hit command f and then command v and as you can see let me make this a bit bigger this element is the first hotel and if i keep on hitting enter it will go to hotel by hotel so meaning that this entire element have this x path and that means that in here when we call the all after it it will get all these hotels and it will save them to the hotels variable so what will be returned here is a list of locators and we will use those locators to get the actual information after that i just printed the length of the hotels as you can see right here to see how many hotels have i gotten after that i will create a hotels list this will contain the final results and then i can just loop over hotels so what you are seeing here is we said that we have this hotels list that contain a list of locators now we are going to loop over it so each one of this hotel is a locator so if i continue each dictionary will hold the data of each hotel as you can see and then let me paste this entire code and then explain it so this code is very easy to understand don't get scared or something because what's happening here is that we said that we are looping over each hotel in this hotels list so basically each hotel is a locator and in playwright each locator also has a locator method same as the page did so basically we first got each hotel and then from each hotel we are getting the title the price the score review also this one is the score review and so on and then finally after that we can append 
the dictionary to the list so let me copy for example the title and come here and paste it and notice how each title will get highlighted as I loop over them I believe you did notice that and so basically from each hotel we are getting the title and then we are calling inner.text to get the text of the title not the HTML or something else and we are doing the same from the price and the score and so on and we are adding do those values to the respective keys inside of the dictionary and finally we are adding the dictionary or appending the dictionary to our list I think that if you are not familiar with XPath this might be a bit challenging to understand now that our list contains all needed information we can create our data frame using pandas as you can see right here so pd the data frame and we pass our list and the reason we need that is because panda makes it very easy to create an excel or csv file and let's create both so for a data frame to create an excel file we just call the dot to excel method and we pass the name and our name must end with dot xlsx which is the extension and we set the index equal to false basically we don't want a new column that contains the index of each row and same goes for, for csv we call the to csv method we pass it the name and we end the name with dot csv and same goes for the index so this is our scraper we are we have finished now we can just save it let me open my terminal and let's run it or before that i want you to notice here we don't have any excel or csv so a new excel and the new csv will be created in here so let me run python3 booking scraper.py let's create enter as you can see we have the same window popping up it goes to the same page as you can see we have this message which is this one right here and it's telling us that it got 30 hotels and notice here how we have a csv file and an excel file the names are hotels list and hotels list meaning the same but the extension is not the same as we specified in here and if i open one of them we can see we have the same information i think it's better to open it in finder as you can see if i double click on it you can see that we have the same information and same goes for csv as you can see right here i will leave the code in my github and you can access it via the link in the description thank you for watching